Hey everybody, my name is Miguel. I'm a 26 year old from Canada. I recently took the uh, GMAT Focus Edition after using Target Test Prep for four months. Um, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about TTP and how it was uh, instrumental in my uh, GMAT Focus journey. And especially as somebody who has traditionally struggled in standardized exams, I'm going to talk a little bit about how Target Test Prep helped me achieve my target score. So just to give you a little bit of a background or an idea of my journey, uh, briefly, I originally scored a 335, which is second percentile, obviously very poor score in October of 2023. And then from that to four months later, I scored a 645, which is 89th percentile. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, especially for those of you who are a little concerned with uh, or find the idea of taking a standardized exam, exams um, with quant um, skills involved as daunting, uh, you can achieve uh, the, the scores that you're, you're uh, setting out to get if you stick to TTP's course plan. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this, okay? So... Um, you're probably wondering how did I achieve an over 300 point increase in my score in less than five months. Um, well, if you're somebody who struggles with standardized exam, as I have during my entire education, um, TDP really has a strong emphasis on fundamentals, the foundations. Okay, so it's a first principles approach, and it's going to build your your confidence by building on block by block on each section, each concept, each question type, you're gonna have confidence after uh, using TTP. So a little bit about my background. So I don't have a quantitative uh, background. I actually studied international relations and I minored in, in economics. Um, and uh, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, my occupation, I've worked in retail banking and now I work in horticulture operations in my family business. Um, but I knew at some point I was going to consider a advanced degree. Um, traditionally, for people who have my academic background, they tend to go towards uh, law school or public policy. But I slowly realized that over the course of my education, reflecting on different career paths, that I was, uh, I was much more suited for an occupation with a bottom-up approach. And... Uh, um, this is what kind of led me down the, the path of wanting to pursue an MBA. And it wasn't until about July of 2023 when I started considering a, an MBA more seriously. And uh, yeah, I just I just realized that the, the skills that I would be learning through an MBA, such as uh, strategy or business management, analytics, leadership skills, um, you name it, uh, it just it made the most sense for me. I was interested in various aspects and specializations that are uh, offered within the MBA. Uh, so now in terms of the GMAT, um, as you can imagine, somebody with my background, uh, academically speaking, not very quantitative focused. So this is probably the aspect leading to the GMAT um, that worried me the most. But if you're anything like me, um, which I'd venture to say some of you are if you're watching this video, you, you like a good challenge. So in terms of uh, what happened after I decided to take uh, or pursue the MBA, um, I did what most people do, and I bought the GMAT uh, official guide. So for me, at least, I don't feel like studying off the official guide alone on its own with no tutoring, with no tutoring um, was very productive. The GMAT um, official guide is not nearly explanatory enough for me in terms of how I learn. And it might be the same for many of you as well. And I imagine uh, based on my learning style that I would have taken at least double the amount of time that I used um, to achieve the score I did um, and learn the concepts that I did um, had I not used TTP and had I just um, gone about this through self-studying. But like I mentioned earlier, everyone has different skills and uh, obviously abilities. I'm the type of learner who needs to understand the logic and key concepts and how to answer questions, or at the minimum, know how to approach the questions. So for this reason, 
anything prior to TTP, I don't really consider as studying. So I would say um, I properly started my preparation when I started TTP, which is in October of 2024, shortly after I wrote that um, first practice exam. So um, before I get into exactly uh, how TTP will help you, I should quickly summarize my progress in my scores before TTP to during TTP to my first official practice exam. So my initial GMAT fo focus practice score, it was 30, 335, as I mentioned earlier. Um, I scored a 61 on quant, which is first percentile, and uh, one answer of 21 questions correct. I got 60 on data insight, which is fourth percentile, and five answers of 18 questions correct. And then 78 on verbal, which is 42nd percentile, and 16 answers of 23 correct. So my next attempt, on a different practice exam came four months after starting target test prep. I scored a 515, which is 36th percentile. A week after that, I scored um, a 555, which is 53rd percentile. A week after that, and on my finals practice exam, I scored a 595, which is 72nd percentile. And then a week and a half later, um, which was five months from the point of my initial starting of uh, TTP, I scored a 645. Um, so that was a 79 on quant, 59th percentile, which was 18 of the 21 questions correct. So remember, I got only one question, question correct on my first attempt. I got an 83 on data insights, which is 96th percentile, and that's three, 13 answers of 20 questions correct. And on verbal, I got 90, uh, I'm sorry, I got 84 and which is 91st percentile, and that's 18 of 23 correct, questions correct. So I'm bringing up these scores across these, each section not to gloat about my progress or that I literally couldn't answer two questions right, but more so to let you know that um, writing, uh, writing these kinds of tests has a certain stress element to it that will really hinder your score. And if you don't know how to prepare for this, TTPs not only can prepare you on the fundamentals of the content that you're going to learn, but they're also going to teach you about how to uh, approach the test, whether it's time management, stress management, how to approach test day. All this stuff is going to be covered in TTP's uh, course plan. So I came across TTP doing my own research. Um, I saw many positive reviews, and I was really looking for a prep company that had a very good reputation for a uh, quant-based uh, improvement, and uh, TTP was the one that stood out among the rest. Uh, so I initially bought six months of TTP access, um, but I only really used the content for four months. Ideally, I would have used it for longer, but because of the uh, set test date that I had in mind, given the, uh, the application due dates and the application cycle that I wanted to apply for, I only used it for four months. I recommend using it for more if you can. Um, in terms of what TTP is going to provide you with, uh, TTP gives you tools. So at the end of the day, TTP is not the be all end all, but it's going to give you the tools you need. You need. So you're going to be able to um, have a great foundation for each section. Like I mentioned earlier, you're going to have the tools on how to approach the exam itself. And like I mentioned, you're going to have the strategy. So that means mental, mental preparedness for the exam. You're going to know how to deal with test anxiety, and you're going to know how to perform, uh, optimize your performance on test day. So in terms of the, the specific aspects of target test prep that I think um, really uh, benefited me, I'm sure that uh, every user has their own benefits. But as somebody who's used other uh, prep companies for standardized exams in the past, these are uh, a few that stood out for me. So firstly, um, TTP's course plan has structure. That's very important for my learning. Um, the course plan is set out to be followed as is. So follow this plan. I'm telling you, do not go on um, tangents of wanting to learn certain concepts before others. You want to really follow this guideline because they've had the experience of having many students come through their program and they've basically curated a program that's um, meant to be followed out in a certain manner. So follow this program as they give it to you. Um, and you're going to 
really reap the rewards of the, this intentional layout that they've provided you with and they've developed over the years. So number two, in terms of the uh, things that I think really made a difference um, in terms of target test preps layout and their approach is their attention to detail. Okay, so they really have a detail on or attention to detail on, on the fundamentals. So you'll slowly uh, begin to be able to recognize patterns. And this is so important on a time uh, sensitive exam like the, the GMAT focus, because you're going to see a, a question and you're going to only have two minutes, two and a half minutes to answer tops. And you're going to have to be able to recognize patterns because otherwise you're going to get overwhelmed as I clearly was on my first uh, GMAT focus uh, practice exam. Um, so I also don't think I've come across a course that really starts at such a basic level or the basic principles of uh, difficult questions and then helps you progress one step at a time, building on every principle and building your confidence so that you can improve and achieve that score that you're hoping to get. Lastly, TTP has some very cool features and tools such as their analytics that were really necessary for me to track my progress. So you're able to identify strengths and weaknesses. You're able to identify your timing and you're even able to uh, see how you were doing on uh, your lesson example attempts to really see where you're, where you struggle with. Um, this cuts out so much of your uh, time trying to manually track what you need to focus on and really get down to uh, really having a targeted, um, preparation for your test, I guess. So uh, like many people who probably watch these videos, you're probably wondering what you're going to get out of TTP. And I'm going to talk a little bit um, about um, what the actual course itself covers. So obviously I've mentioned the, uh, it covers all three sections and the, um, the mental strategy, but it's very much a uh, fundamentals uh, approach. So you're going to learn concepts with examples and you're going to have practice questions at the bottom of uh, each lesson. And then at the end of each chapter, you're going to have a chapter test, which is going to range from easy to difficult. And you're going to have uh, a set target score to achieve. Otherwise, you have to keep uh, working on this until you um, not perfect it, but you're comfortable enough to move on. So uh, for me, I followed this course plan for about three and a half months. Um, Due to my time constraints, as I mentioned earlier, I uh, I had a test date in mind that I had to uh, keep in mind when I was doing my tar my my press my test prep, and I was working full time as well, so I could only uh, dedicate about three hours a day, but that accumulated to about twenty hours a week. Um, so again, it's lengthy and time consuming, but that's the time commitment you have to be willing to dedicate, or at least with. Uh, what was the case in my experience? So by the end of the, the four months of my uh, GMAT journey using TTP and realizing I was tight for time, I eventually just, uh, I purchased some official practice exams. And I think this is a very crucial aspect, at least that, hap that happened to work for me. So on top of the, uh, the, the fundamentals that you're gonna learn with target test prep, you need to know how to apply them. So you can go ahead and purchase additional practice exams on mba.com if you need. Um, but be wary not to overuse these because they are, uh, they have recycled questions, I believe. And, um, you want to know that you want to make sure that you're using your, uh, these official questions strategically. So anyway, in the month leading up to uh, my official, I pretty much just focused on writing one practice exam per week, analyzing my incorrect answers and targeting concepts I was per performing poorly on. So in terms of advice, so... Um, in terms of mentally, um, my number one piece of advice with TTP course and GMAT prep in general is be patient. So the course content, as I mentioned, and as many other people will say, it's long, but not without good reason in my experience. And especially when it comes to preparing for a standardized exam, I feel a tendency to uh, want to learn as much as you can in a short period. Um, and this is usually due to the fact that standardized exams are not very pleasant. But I'm telling you, if this is your approach, as I have uh, experienced uh, through <laughs> um, having this mentality in my own in my own uh, uh, prep for other standardized exams, you're not setting yourself up for success if you're just trying to learn as much content as possible in the shortest amount of time. The reality is you can't determine how fast your brain is going to learn stuff, and um, these concepts are very uh, 
they're very specific to the, t the, the types of questions that you're going to approach in the exam, and you only have a certain amount of time to uh, um, answer the questions. So you want to make sure that you are getting your fundamentals down and taking the appropriate time you need to answer these. The second piece of advice that I would give you is um, devise a plan. So this is uh, a plan that I mean, uh, you want to devise a plan that is going to address your weaknesses. So for me, that involves several different activities, um, including uh, using TTP's analytics. I took the answer, uh, the answers uh, that I was answering incorrectly, and I was looking at my accuracy, how I was performing on practice exams. I was creating Excel sheets, and I was identifying weakness areas, at least in terms of the official practice exams. And then I was um, reviewing the answers uh, that I was answering incorrectly and looking on GMAT Forum Club um, or GMAT Club forums to uh, basically see how other people were answering these questions. So use um, resources um, beyond TTP. TTP is going to give you the great foundation, as I mentioned, but you're going to still want to use as much resources outside of TTP as, as you can. Um, in terms of uh, practice, practicing for official exam day, Get a routine. This is a next. Uh, this is the next important piece of advice that I would give you. You need to recognize that all your once you've done all your course prep, you know what to do, and now it's just a matter of applying it. So don't add any additional stressors to your um, exam experience or the day of. Follow a routine and get in the habit of knowing what's going to happen at what time and what you're going to be doing an hour before the exam, two hours before the exam. For some people, it's listening to music. For some people, it's exercising. For me, I meditated. I had to sort out my thoughts, make sure made sure I knew what to do in terms of uh, my weaknesses. And what do I do if I was to encounter a certain type of uh, question on the exam? And then a personal piece of advice. In the bigger scheme of things, this is an exam, and that's all it is, okay? So if you've gone to this point where you're preparing for the GMAT focus or you're, you're – Considering an MBA, chances are you've been in a simul similar situation to this and you're, f you're feeling a bit anxious or um, stressed. The feelings of uneasiness or stress, they're going to come and go. Uh, so at the, at the end of the day, this exam ultimately doesn't define you and it's just a step uh, forward in pursuing whatever goal it is that you have set out. So lastly, um, and just to summarize, any... Um, if you've managed to listen to this far in my uh, testimonial, I hope that this uh, this advice and a little bit of the rundown on what TTP can offer you gives you a little bit of insight into what you can expect. Um, I hope I've given you some food for thought and uh, given you a bit of an idea on what you can expect when you uh, when you prepare with TTP. So, like anything else, when it comes to preparing, the best preparation is starting with the basics and a solid foundation, that's what Target Test Prep is going to give you. That's what it gave me. And if you've uh, encountered anything in your own uh, test prep that I've mentioned here, I'm sure it's going to help you too. Thank you.